Hey guys, so I have my beautiful model here and this is Nikki and or we call her Nikisha at work and today we're going to be doing this very bold, vibrant, very colorful and bright look today and as I was say her favorite color was green, I wanted to do something bird of paradise-y and we just came up with this very bold, kind of ridiculous video. So I'm going to start by doing her brows and I'm doing the Anastasia dip brow and this is in dark brown and I'm just going to take that and just fill in the brows. And then I'm going with Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel, and this is in Caramel. And I'm just going to take this through, kind of grabs the hairs, gives some extra dimension to the brows. And then I'm using the Urban Decay Primer Potion for my eyeshadow base, and I'm going from the lash line all the way up to the eyebrow. Then I'm using a NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk, and I am applying that again from the lash line all the way up to the eyebrow. But I'm going to blend it in between so it looks nice and smooth, and that way you don't have any goopy messes or lines in between. And this is just going to act as a really nice base since we're using some bright colors, and I just really want them to pop. And now I'm going to go in with my ColourPop Super Shock Eyeshadows, and this is in Juicer, and I'm going to take this bright yellow and I'm putting it in the inner corners, and I'm bringing it all the way to the inner crease, or not inner crease, yes, inner crease, sorry, I forgot what I was talking about, and I'm just going to blend that up a little bit higher. Now I'm taking my Ever Faithful Urban Decay Electric Palette, and I'm going to use Freak, putting that all over the eyelid, just stopping right at the crease. And it's okay if your green touches the yellow and they blend together. They can get to know each other on the eyelid. And then I'm going to go in with Thrash. And this is just a little bit brighter. And I'm going to apply that over the Freak. And this just kind of gives a little bit more of a tropical green. And I am also, as you can see, blending it and extending it out past the eye because we are doing a dramatic eye. Now I'm taking Sugar Pills Loose Pigment, and this is in Clickbait. I believe that's how you say it, it's Clickbait. And I'm just applying that on the outside from the lash line up into the crease, this nice little V, and this just gives some extra dimension. And whatever's left, I'm just blending it all, all the way into the yellow. Now I'm going to go in with another loose pigment from Sugar Pill, and this is in Charming, and this is just a really nice peachy pink, and I'm applying that right above the green, or a little above the crease, just to kind of have a nice warm fade. Now I'm going to go in with another Sugar Pill Loose Pigment, and this is in Lumi. This is one of my absolute favorites. I'm applying that in the inner corners because why not? You have to fit this color in any time you can. And since Nikki is a little bit better at tight lining than me, so she's just going to do it when we're using a gel liner, and she's just really stamping it in. She can get a really thin line, much thinner than I can. That's why she's doing it. And now I'm going to go in with the Smoked palette from Urban K, and we're going to go in with Loaded, which is this nice kind of forest dark green. And I am just, again, I call it the Pac-Man V, which you can see kind of goes right from the lash line, eyeliner, kind of wing it out, and then into the crease. And then I'm going to blend it to, of course, look soft and nice. And so again, I'm doing that V, or Pac-Man V, and then I'm going to just take a soft fluffy brush and blend it all in. And now we're going to go in with the glitter, which we were both very excited to use. This is this NYX color, and this is the Glitters on the Go. And this is an 04 Hot Yellow. And then I'm using, for my glue, I am using Lit Cosmetics. This is the Clear Liquid Glue. And I'm just using a lip brush because I found lip brushes surprisingly lurk really well with glitter. And I'm just taking those two and I'm packing it on to my desired glitter, glitterness desired glitterness, I guess that would be the way to put it, but you can pack on the glitter as much as you want. And now we're taking her Marc Jacobs Concealer, and I do not know the exact color. I think this is one of the lighter ones, like 02, maybe? And we're applying that under the eyes after we just wiped away all that fallout with a damp cloth, and then we're, of course, then we're putting on the concealer. 
So besides getting rid of dark circles and brightening, this will also give you a nice clean line for your eyeshadow so you don't have to use tape. And Nikki's not much of a liquid foundation type, so we are going to go with the Marc Jacobs powder, which they do not make this anymore. Unfortunately, this is discontinued, but we are using the powder and I'm just pressing in with a beauty blender. All right, now I'm gonna take an OCC lip tar, and this is actually a lip pencil, and this color is in a blue. This is in Pool Boy, and I'm going to be using this pencil as an eye pencil, so I'm just going to apply it right underneath the lash line, and I am also extending it out as an underwing. And I'm just taking a brush and blending it in so it's nice and soft looking, and over the top of that, I'm going to put the L'Oreal Infamous eyeshadow and this is in 340 and I'm going to put that on because of course we want it to look nice and bright and it's got a little bit of glitter in it so why wouldn't we put this on the eye so this is just going to make it look softer brighter and more polished blended and we had way too much fun and we just got way too silly during this video but let me tell you we laughed probably more than we applied makeup if you can believe that with all the glitter. So now I'm going to go with a Makeup Forever pencil and I'm just going to apply this in the waterline. It's a little bit darker than Pool Boy and this is just going to add some depth. And here we are, slow motion. Nikki found the remote for the camera and there she goes with the clicker. And yes, she just did. So now I'm going to apply lashes. And I do not know the numbers of these. These are some Coos lashes that she had. Sorry, I do not remember the number. And we did also apply mascara again. I do not remember which one we'd used. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm a terrible YouTuber. I'm just like, yeah, we applied some mascara. Yeah, you know. So we did put on mascara. Now we're applying lashes. Or actually, Nikki is applying the lashes with Lash Duo. You can see how much better the lash eye looks compared to just boring old mascara. Now we're going to go in with the NYX Contour Palette, and this was actually the first time I got to use it. I'm just taking the lighter shade, and we're going to use this for highlighting, and we're doing the triangle under the eye, the chin, down the nose, and of course on the forehead. And yes, we did lots of dancing and lots of makeup. And you, she, yes, it took her a minute to realize what I was doing. All right, so now I'm going to take the taupey color and now we're going to contour with this because what's the point of highlighting if you're not going to contour, right? So, of course, we're doing underneath the cheekbones, just a little bit under the chin and on the temples. And I'm just kind of doing, as you can see, I'm marking this triangle shape from her ear, and that's the shape that I'm going to contour in. Then I'm taking Pure Minerals, and this is a blush in Kinky, and this is just kind of a nice peachy warm blush. And we're going to apply this on the cheeks, and I'm just going to buff that in. So now I'm going to take Max Lip Pencil, and this color is in Fashion Boost, and we're going to line those lips. So real basic, I'm just going to go around her natural lip line. We're not over drawing or anything. We're not doing any Kylie Jenner lips. We're just lip lining. Now I'm taking Max Lipstick and Heron, and I'm going to apply this all over the lip. And since we did such a bold eye, we're like, why not? Let's do a bold lip. Let's, let's break all the rules we possibly can today. And I'm just taking the lip liner, and I'm just going in and fixing in a little bit of concealer here and there, just to make sure that our lip line is nice and perfect and smooth and slow motion there. Yes, we look good, bitches. And now I'm going to take uh, Make It Forever Hot Pink Eyeshadow. I do not know the number. I will put that down below in the link or the bio. 
and I'm just going to play that on the Cupid's bow. Just gives it a little bit of definition, has a little bit of glitter in it because we can't have enough glitter. And I'm going to also plot this on the bottom as well. Just gives the lip a little oomph. And I'm taking OCC Lip Tar, and this is in anime, and this is obviously a very hot pink. And I'm going to apply that in the center of the lip because, again, we're going to add as much as we can possibly. And there we go. There is our end result. We had a lot of fun doing this look besides it being bright. And there's my really bad zoom up. And we just had a ton of fun doing this. We laughed way too much and it was just a fun look to do. And I hope you guys enjoy this. So please, if you would like to comment down below, keep the vibes positive and share the love, of course. And don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up and to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And of course, subscribe if I haven't already said that already. So I hope you enjoy this and I will see you guys in my next look. And here we go, the really awkward, slowly turn around. Do you see how beautiful the makeup is? Try not to smile. And there we go. So Nikki's favorite products here, she liked the glitter and also the lipstick, the MAC Heroin. And so these two, I had her pick out her favorite ones, and here you go. So I hope you, again, enjoyed and have fun.